Learning how to cut and trim your video clips is a great way to improve quality, remove mistakes, or just relieve your content of any boring moments. And you can very easily cut and trim your clips by using the Veed editor. In the previous lesson, we added a simple video clip into the timeline. So now let's watch the video through together before we make any edits. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome to my video today. Today I want to show you some footage from my trip to the beach, which was a really great day out with some really amazing views. So I hope you enjoy it. So as you can see, midway through that clip, I stumble over my words. So I want to remove that from the final video. Using my mouse, I'm gonna place the playhead where I want to make my first cut. And I'm gonna put mine right at the start of that mistake. Now I'm gonna click split and my footage has now been instantly cut into two pieces. Now I'm gonna find the end of my mistake with the playhead and press that same button once again. So now I've separated that section out into its own unique clip. So all I need to do to get rid of it is select it and hit delete on my keyboard. So now I'm just left with a blank space within the timeline, which I could fill by adding some additional footage, or I can just move these two remaining clips together. And by clicking and dragging them together like so, the empty space is gone and I've created a seamless flow. You can also trim footage off the front and back of any clip by clicking and dragging the element like so, which is particularly useful if you have some dead air at the start or the end of your clips. And when you finish trimming, just make sure that you move your clips along the timeline to make sure that there's no blank spaces. It's also worth knowing that you can use the zoom tool to get right up close into the timeline and make some precise cuts. And remember, you can always use the undo tool if you make a mistake. So let's move our playhead back to the start of the timeline and see what our footage looks like now. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome to my video. Today I want to show you some footage from my trip to the beach, which was a really great day out with some really amazing views. So I hope you enjoy it. In my example video, I also want to show my audience exactly what I'm talking about. And I can do this by adding some additional footage into the timeline. To do that, I'll simply select add media, where I can now choose to upload a file, record a new video or add some stock footage. And I'm gonna add some stock footage into mine. You can use the search option to find exactly what you need. And by clicking on a clip you like, you will see that it instantly appears down in the video timeline. And you can add as many clips as you want using this method. Once you have multiple clips in your timeline, you can rearrange them by clicking and dragging them around. And once again, you can cut and trim them down to your ideal length. You can also stack your footage in layers. So if I wanted to hear myself talking whilst I show some other footage on screen, I would just overlay the footage on top like so. So now I've completed this simple edit, let's move the playhead to the start of the timeline and play it back once again. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome to my video. Today I want to show you some footage from my trip to the beach, which was a really great day out with some really amazing views. So I hope you enjoy it. In the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how to add video effects, filters and transitions to your projects to create a very distinctive look. 